Alright, welcome back everyone to some more Far Cry 4. I hope you're having a good time with the series. I'm definitely having a good time playing it. Um, let's see here. Let me take a look at the map. You know, actually between episodes, I was so confused. I thought we had gotten a call in near the end of that last mission right up there, the Sleeping Saints. Uh, I thought I had gotten a call in from Amita, but I'm sure any of you that were watching were, were well aware that it was actually Noor that had made the call. Or, or the woman that I think is Noor. I still think it's Noor. What's baffling me is that she seems to be a friendly. Yeah, I mean, it is. It's Noor. And, but she has a fortress, so I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to think right now. Uh, she clearly uh, alluded to the fact that uh, she was being um, manipulated by Pagan, right? That uh, he had her family. So we'll have to see how this plays out. She, it was her who had called, right? And she wants, that's why the N is now up there. Uh, she has a mission for us. So I may try and make a move for that this episode. I'm not sure. I definitely need to get back up north. The only real mission that's down here is this bomb defusal. Defusal. Is that, I, I still don't know. It sounds like it should be a word. I'm not sure if it actually is. I don't know why I'm not sure if it actually is or not. It, it just... I think I'm thinking of refusal. Defusal. It doesn't sound like it should fit. But it sounds like it makes sense. Yes. I don't know. I shouldn't be worrying about such trivial things. We're heading for this bomb defusing. Yes. That's what I'm planning to do here. Um, the only other thing that's really down here is Pagan's Wrath. But I mean, they sprout up often enough. Usually when I've been wreaking a little havoc in the area, he needs to send in the boys to try and cool things down. Well, well he wreaks his own, his own brand of chaos. His own brand of havoc. Brings his own brand... Of death to the area uh, so yeah the bomb defusing I think is what we're gonna do and we do have a couple of Shangri-La missions so I may branch off uh, and and head one of uh, well either east or west here well or side to side I'm not sure where what is exactly north but uh, yeah that's the plan and you can see we've got a bit of a jaunt here I'm not sure how I should proceed not like that obviously <laughs> this is the way I die the most often in this game is falling to my death off just such a stupid <laughs> when I try trying to leap off of a ridge. You all have seen it if you've been watching. You know, you know this is that's how I have died. Probably I, you could add up the way I've died every other way and it still wouldn't be more than how I'm dying. On these damn cliffs, on these damn ridges, just trying to queue up the, the bloody wingsuit. Oh, my god. <sighs> did, uh, did you get that out of your system, Galley? I bloody well hope so, sir. Clearly he wanted the loot that was back here. He had his eye on it. So he died just so that I would take the time and hunt it down. And it's really not, uh, revealing itself too well. And now there's men in the area. Are you kidding me? Ridiculous. I think it's probably just some wild dogs or something. You know, th this loot, I don't know. I don't know where it is. Unless it's underground. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna bother with it now. Screw it. Oh, we've got a karma event here. Okay, well. Why not? You chose your side! Oh, that would have been just spectacular. You're dead, sir. You just don't know it yet. <laughs> oh, did I take him right off the cliff? There's his weapon. Where'd he end up? <laughs> there he is down there. Next to my body. Yes, from my last life. Bloody hell. All right. Golly, can you get over here clean? Let's see. Making me nervous, you are. There we go. I don't know why that's so troubling for me. Hey, hey, hey. All right, I'm not sure. You know, I could probably ride out the wingsuit much farther if I were to head into the valley there. Or into the gorge or whatever the hell. Into the lowlands. Got a vehicle right there. Looks like there's a poster nearby as well. Oh, I've been here. I was here before. Alright. Drive it like she's meant to be driven here, Galley. To the death! 
Oh, I thought for sure that was the end right there. <laughs> I thought for sure that was the end. That was, should have clearly been a broken neck, you know? To the point where the thing was on backwards, you know? Unbelievable. Well, the galley must have been wearing his helmet. <laughs> All right. Oi, oi, oi. Here we go. Back on the, uh, the road again. Sparks are flying. As they usually are. They usually follow Galley. Oh, wow. Yeah, I probably should have done some sort of fast travel here. Courier. <laughs> done. Actually, he wasn't a courier. But that's fine. You know, I don't know why I'm deciding to branch off here. It rarely works out well for me. Branching away from the waypoint. Repeat. Bold and fast reinforcements are needed. Our outpost is being attacked. Well, this is clearly why I came up here. I was I was wondering if that well was all... Well, it was all boarded up. I was wondering if it was still functional. But here we go. I'm here to save the day, clearly. Perched up on the, on the hill. And rain down a little sniper death. Oh, I'm loving this. Got a beautiful position here. I don't know how I missed that. There we go. They still have yet to really spot me. They kind of, they kind of, they know something's happening. They're just not sure what. Beautiful throwing knife. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's a squirrely bugger, he is. I got guys coming in behind me as well. Oh, they're sounding the retreat. They want no part of my greatness. I don't blame you, gentlemen. As much death visited your your ranks on this day. That was quite enjoyable. I'm digging having the SVD out right now. And it just worked out well where I was just in a, coming in from a beautiful position. with From the high ground, you know. Nice line of sight leading down there. Okay. Uh, we will do... Yes, we'll do the quick sell. And refill the ammo. Do I want to get the bow back? You know what? I think I'll, I'll ride out the SVD for the time. Time being. All right, now where exactly am I? That's not what I wanted. I want the map. I don't know why I went straight to the skills. Clearly, I just uh, I just freed one up, or unlocked one. Okay. Oh, we're getting close. Not far at this point. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome. Oh, he's waving me on. Wants to give me some money. I try and avoid killing animals. At least you use every part of them. I didn't think we were going to make it. Here, yeah, you've earned this. You're on the winning team now, sir, with me around. Get used to it. <laughs> Get used to it. All right. Talking a big game, Yar Galley. How quickly he forgets how we how we opened this episode. Falling toward death. Like a bumbling fool. Damn, are the eagles ever circling here? Where is that? Uh, there we go. You know what I've used so little of, and I'm sure a couple of you are probably a little disappointed, is is the bait. I never, I'm never bringing it out. I'm sure it could be quite, uh, quite useful and quite enjoyable, quite comical to watch some. Some local wildlife come in and take down, uh, <laughs> take down some Royal Army Guardsmen. Tooth and Fang style. Alright, Golly. I, I just wanted to make a smooth jump there, but, you know, I don't have a great track record with this. I had better... I would better just opt for the mountain slide, you know? Golly, he's no... He's no bird. 
He's clearly the mountain, the mountain man type. Yes, likes to stay firmly planted, whether it be by by grapple hook and rope, or simply hiking boot. Yes, hiking boot to stone. He doesn't, he doesn't like to come off the mountain because when he does, he usually returns to the mountain face first. Yes, <laughs> face first. Damn it, always dying, always dying on the flight. It's actually it's not, it's it's not even on the flight. It's it's uh, pre-flight. Yes, <laughs> I think he can handle the wingsuit well enough. It's uh, he just doesn't know how to take off. All right, there we go. Excuse me, you got a second? What do you need, my man? What's happening? Finally, you're here. Didn't I just see you back Ajay. at the other camp? You got here quick, sir. Must Ajay, be turbo no drive. Time to lose. All right, let's go. Come here, quick. Enough dicking around. What are the targets? It's a shipment of fresh water for our troops. Paul has used so much to irrigate his opium crops that our men are drying up. I didn't know it was that bad. It is, my friend, and it's getting worse. Okay, I'll help you. You have my gratitude. Here are the coordinates for the crates. Please, hurry. The Royal Guard have a head start. These are a good time. Let me see where exactly we're heading to here. Oh, we're heading right back to the uh, the opium fields. That's quite nice. All right. Wanted to say something to you. What? Looking for an autograph, sir. Oh, dang. There we go. Yeehaw! Put some stank on that one. No, I don't want the auto drive on. Holy hell. Alright. I know we've got a big drop coming up here, so yeah, I gotta take a little easy here. Actually, I could I could have written it right down. All right, what am I looking to defend? Is that ever a, a large area here? Defuse all bombs without without being detected. Ay ay ay. There we go. I still don't know where I am. A man spotted me up here by the house. At least I haven't triggered the explosives yet. Oh! Dang. Oh, this is no good. This is not gonna happen. All right, that one's been done. No, 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 that's not what I wanted to do. God damn. Oh, now I'm all in a, in a big mad rush here. Yeah. Shite. Not uh, shaving up to be a great episode here. Just, I came in with the wrong weapons. I forgot it was like this. I thought it was like like uh, one of those big defensive missions where... Um, that we uh, we did at the monastery that one time. That main quest line mission. Where we had to defend the statues from being... Being blown. I forgot that I was back there a second time. And had to do it completely stealthily. And now I don't have the, the right gear for this. Well, I'm gonna have to get creative, I guess, then. Figure something out. Oh no, I do, I do have a, a silenced weapon, okay. Let's see what I'm walking into here. This guy is going to be done. I think he's rounding the far side of the house. Yeah, he is. <laughs> done. Alright, yeah, we're going to pull this off. It was really throwing me because, I, I mean, I didn't have the silent sniper rifle. I didn't have the bow. 
But I, I can make this work. Am I on my throwing knives? I hope so. Hopefully that's not... Uh, oh, it is. Quickly now, Galley, before he turns around, sir. Oh, <laughs> loving it. A great entry in here, okay. Totally redeeming myself, I think you all have to admit. This poor start. But uh, I'm pulling it together. Even looting the joint. For a condom, good. Galley gonna get lucky after this spectacular performance, clearly. <laughs> clearly. With the cleanest whore in all of Kirat. <laughs> yes. He's still gonna need a condom, though. Alright. Somebody really close by. Alright, I should be good to go loud here if, at this point if I wanted to. Oh, I see you, <laughs> oh damn! Oh, we got one more guy over here. Catching me off guard, but it was too little too late for them at that point. As I had already made the rounds. Okay, perfect. Had a good time with that. Did I get them both? I hope so. Wonderful. Is there, are there more reinforcements? Are they all charging in here now? I'm not really sure. But uh, anyway, let's take a look at the map. Now, the question is, do I head for Noor? I don't have a lot of time left in this episode. Um, well, I do. I've got about 15 minutes. We're about halfway through it. I've got Noor up here. I've got to the Shangri-La missions. And of course, they're, they're, they take up quite a bit of time as well, or at least the last one did. Hmm. You know what? I think I'll, I'll branch off this way. Try and get over there. Heading over towards Dami Ashram. Yeah, I think that's how I'm going to do it. And uh, we'll head back to Shangri-La. Oh, dang. <laughs> oh, and he comes flying out at the end. I love this game. I absolutely love it. All right. That's done. Off in a vehicle. And uh, off we go. And hopefully I'm heading the right way here. I don't think going down the mountain is the right choice. Let me take a look here. I may have to circle around though. Looks like I'm going to have to. I'd love to find a whirly bird somewhere nearby. Oh, all right. No screw it. I guess we'll go down. We gotta go down. Got to get up. You know what I should do? It's just fast travel. I don't. You know what? I don't like fast traveling it in this game. But I think it's probably the smart choice here. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do it that way. Just uh, well, this one time I'm sure there'll be others as well. But uh, I think I'm gonna fast travel it too. Oh, I don't have, do I not have a fast travel point to the monastery? I thought for sure I did. Well, there's nothing really. There's not not much over here to fast travel to. I mean, I'm not gonna make up too much ground. Going there or there. I could have sworn there was going to be something at the monastery. I guess I'll drive it then. I'm sorry, I'm just losing my shit over here and just by myself, but it was the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. All that was missing was. Yeah, this guy's turning around on me. Punk. You should have just kept driving, sir. Alright.
And I need to look at the map again because I'm at a crossroads. And for some reason, the marker isn't actually coming up. You know what? Let me put the marker there. There we go. Okay. Oh. Something ramming me. I, I don't know what happened there. The car just seemed to go all squirrely all by itself, you know? Yeah, there, it, it did it again. <laughs> Put a few, <laughs> a few more shots his way. Alright. Yeah, I think this car is uh, seriously damaged right now. Or this truck. Some front end damage. Some axle damage or something. Because it keeps uh, veering off to the right. I don't know, maybe I'm just hitting, hitting little dips in the road. It could be the case. <laughs> Robbie, what are you going on about, sir? The old twerking broadcast, eh? Oh, it's a courier. Ah, I'm not going to worry about it. I want to get to Shangri-La. Getting low on time here. So much so that there may be some sort of edit. Damn sniper. I think not, sir. Oh, fantastic. I knocked a little stupid there, though, but damn if that wasn't styling. All right, and <laughs> the truck... The truck is getting ready to just go. Like, you can see the... The engine lights are flashing. The damn hood is a smoking. Archie, listen to me very carefully. You are in Diplur's region. He has a fortress there that is heavily fortified. Attacking it will be very Oh my god. As if, as if the grenade bounced off of the truck and back into my window. I know it didn't go in the window, but it was close enough. That it might as well have. All right, here we go. I decided, you know, after that last death, that uh, I would just take a little time. We'd make an edit, and uh, and I'd just get us uh, relatively close to this location. I'm not far off. There is uh, some sort of well. There's a blue area down here, which usually means that there's a mask or something down there. And we're back up here at Damiashrama now. I think have I been up here? I think I made the climb up here, didn't I? Hit the wrong button. Damn it. That's quite the descent. Go down the rest of the way here, and off we go. And, uh, yeah, I mean, there's something. I can hear it. Oh, maybe it's the damn beehive. But no, there's something else here as well. I'd like to be able to track it down. I don't know if it's going to happen, though. It could be a little deeper, like right in the cave. Oh, no, here we go. What's this now? Wonderful. <laughs> what, what do you have to say for yourself, goat? The deep, your lungs sung long before banish war. But it was in the deep, in the ground, and could not be heard. Blood is the way to listen. I know. I know. The goat. Alright. Now, let me see if I can get to Shangri-La. I may run... What the hell is that? Oh, it's a, it's a damn... <laughs> it's a damn leopard. That was freaking me out, you know. 
We had we had word from the goat and everything just prior to that. Ah, nightmares were running through my mind as to what that could have been. Making all that uh, that ruckus. All right. Let me see if I can circle around here. I'll probably run this a little bit long. Uh, I'd like to be able to get through Shangri-La. I have a feeling it's going to be about a 15 minute run through there. Now, hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where would the best place to enter be here. And uh, I really don't know. Is there a cave down there? Well, let's see if I can get up here. Oh, we got a badger waiting for us <laughs> to up this ridge. Hopefully, he doesn't send me ass over tea kettle rolling off the edge of this ridge. Badger just died. All right, I might as well take the skin. Oh, oh, no. That's what I get for hustling it. Clearly a, a bad move. Foolishness. Take a look at the map here. This is really tough to track down. You know, it could, we could have a... It could be from the river. It looks like there's a cave right there. Okay, but clearly I still need to get up onto that ridge to get to the next level. Damn it, I buggered this. I'm trying to rush across that log like a madman. Feeling under pressure for uh, for time for this episode. If I can get that next grapple cooking. No, doesn't look like it. Looks like there's a, a distant grapple point over there as well. Okay. <laughs> how, how did I bugger that? Just foolish. My, my haste. Uh, you know what? We may not even be able to get to Shangri-La this episode. We may just be getting to the doorstep, you know. Because if I try running it long from here... Well, it's gonna run way too long. Kalinag's Descent. Are these and we win. I'd like to together. Get married. They promised to get out with respect the traditions. I thought maybe it was Yogi and Reggie there for a second. Clearly it's not. A couple local lovers. Out enjoying the uh, I don't know, the sunset, I suppose. Alright. Well, goddamn. We've got a cave right there. I would imagine that's probably what I need to get to. Um, trying to make the swan dive here. I mean, I don't know. Is the wingsuit going to get drawn? That's making me a little nervous. That it may. Oh, no. Of course. All right. I, you know what my big mistake is? Is that it's the same thing that I do when, uh... When I'm driving the car, I'm always on the shift button for some reason. I don't know what, why I'm programmed to do that, you know. It seems so odd. But uh, that's clearly what happens with me when I get that wingsuit going. Or when I when I jump into the air and I don't actually want the wingsuit to queue up. It's because I hit the, hit the shift button accidentally. Or my finger lingers on it as I go sprinting off the edge, you know. But it's because clearly I had a good swan dive queued up there, and then uh, and then I spoiled it because I panicked. All right, there we go. There's the uh, the Thanka. So we'll be uh, we'll be traveling to Shangri La, but it's gonna have to happen next episode. Far too many botches uh, throughout this, but a couple of great moments as well. That second pass through uh, uh, through the uh, I guess it was the Kira Tea Factory, wasn't it, where the opium was being grown. A second pass through there, defusing, was a pretty solid and a, a little bit of nice work there. 
behind the wheel of the car too, you know. So hopefully, uh, well, hopefully y'all enjoyed yourself at least, well, at least moderately, yes. And hopefully you'll return for the next episode when we head to Shangri-La. Beyond that, depending on how long we're there, I may get to Noor by the by the end of next episode. Uh, it may uh, be two episodes from now, but I'm that I have in my sights as well. So uh, be sure to come back. Be sure to return. I look forward to seeing you here. But until well, until then, remember why it hurts. Later all.